CompTIA is releasing the CompTIA Expert Series certifications. Today, we're going to be taking a quick little dive and talking about those certs. So stay tuned and let's get started. Hey everybody, and thanks for tuning in and coming back to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about the new CompTIA Expert Series and kind of what to expect here in 2024. Um, I myself am pretty excited. They've released a few of the beta certifications that you can now go and apply to, which I will drop that in the comments of that process for the new CompTIA Security X, replacing their CASP Plus, and the Data X and Cloud Net X. As soon as that also comes through, I'll make sure to drop those links as well. So one of the quickly kind of just do a quick scroll through and what this is going to look like. Also drop some resources of what I plan on doing to study for these certifications to kind of get these on the list. So let's go ahead and get started. So CompTIA Expert Series is going to be there launching in 2024. Looks like they're planning to advance level certifications designed for IT pros with multiple years of experience, which looking at some of the classes, uh, because I've already registered for the CompTIA Security X course, they're looking for about five to 10 years experience. Now, Experience comes across all different levels. Not saying if you don't meet those parameters, you shouldn't or can't apply and take these certifications. I actually challenge you that you should. Uh, when CompTIA does these beta certifications, you're pretty much getting to take a course at a much, much, much discounted rate of $50 is what CompTIA charges. And you'll take the certification. You won't know your passing score or if you've passed the certification until a few months down the road. So, for example, I've signed up for the Security X, which is replacing the CASP Plus. And when I, after I take that certification, I won't know my results until November later this year in 2024. So, I wanted to quickly kind of go ahead and get started and kind of show you guys what these next few series are going to look for. So we have the Data X, which is going to be a progression off of the CompTIA Data Plus. And I'm assuming this is going to be targeted more your senior data analysts, data trends. Um, no, I've not personally taken the data plus certification, so I can't dive, dive too deep into it. But if you're doing maybe more like data analytics, um, data trends and AI to make predictions, this might be the next course for you. And I would definitely also keep an eye out to see if they'll be do releasing this beta test here coming out. Um, as soon as I see it, I'll also be dropping a quick link and post. So make sure you're checking out my LinkedIn or this YouTube channel. So I can try to also do another video once those kind of come through. We now have the cloud net plus, I'm sorry, the cloud net X, which is the advanced networking certification. And it looks like this is a natural progression from the aligned roles off of Network Plus and Cloud Plus. So targeting toward like your network analysts, infrastructure architecture, um, those are kind of, if you're in those specific roles, this might be that next kind of boost up certification you're looking into take. So once again, I personally, I skipped over Network Plus and I went right to my Security Plus and my CYSA. Um, it's definitely on my kind of backwards to-do list. I know some say that once you kind of go past those entry level certs, it's if you're going higher and higher and in, in taking and passing the higher certifications. Some say there's no need to go back and take those certifications, but at the same sense to each their own, because you can always go back and kind of reassess that kind of learning and also learn those certifications and trainings that also just boost your resume and kind of continue to show that you're learning throughout your career. So my most excited one I'm getting ready here for, and I actually signed up for mine already for June, is the CompTIA Security X. This is going to be an evolution between um, CompTIA's Advanced Security Practitioner, so CASP Plus, uh, and CompTIA Security X will be validating job markets with, once again, this is saying professional with 10 years of IT experience or five years of security experience. This is tied toward your senior engineers or security architect roles. Best progression is a, a job roles that aligns with CompTIA Security Plus. So, I would look at the certifications and I kind of put these on a level of probably right after your CYSP, um, I think is what they're kind of going after, obviously trying to replace the CASP. -P. Um, this will not affect anyone currently holding a CASP plus certification. Um, if I recall reading correctly, it's just going to uh, the name of the certification or maybe if you go to your Credly or the actual account, if you've already passed or currently hold the CSP, it may automatically do that name change. I need to double check that and maybe do an update for this video in the comment section. But earning these CompTIA Expert Series certifications can open up wide ranges of opportunities and career advancement. As we talked on some of my other previous videos, talking with our senior data, our senior uh, desktop analyst, uh, Roman, 
Certifications are great. They show that you're still building and learning on top of all those additional skills. They also just show that you're continuously going and trying to learn the next step or next process. As we all know, IT and cyber things are changing throughout the years. We have AI coming drastically if your organizations aren't already, aren't already using it. And it's kind of just helping to build that resume and build that career to that next level. So super excited if you guys haven't seen this. I wanted to do a quick video and just blast it. I'm going to drop in the comments below how you can register for your CompTIA Security X. I believe you have to take it before July of 2024 and it's $50. And once again, you can do this at a proctored site or do it remotely from home. And I'm going to drop those in the comments. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. If you like the video, go ahead and smash that like and subscribe button. And I'm going to make sure I keep getting this content out and kind of giving you guys the updates as these are slowly and surely getting pushed out. And I find this type of information that I think is great for the network to know and my other viewers. So thanks so much for staying in the whole video if you have. And catch me on the next one. Appreciate it all.